My, 27M, romantic interest, 25F, is a lot more sexual than me. I just want to give her what she wants but I'm struggling, mildly NSFW and a bit long sorry. Update, after reading all the responses to this thread, so many more than I expected, thank you guys so much. I sat down and had a serious talk with myself about where my feelings were coming from, and after sorting through some feelings I had been trying to ignore I realized my issues stemmed mainly from my own insecurities and low self-image. I opened up about all of this with A and she brought up a really good point that some of you here have pointed out as well, that she chose me. I guess I knew that on some level already, but hearing it from her just did wonders for my self-confidence. Physically we are still taking it one step at a time, but we are doing even better than we were before, and I have all of you to thank for all the kind words and encouragement that convinced me that it was okay to be more open. I can't thank you guys enough. Some backstory. I am not a virgin but I have only had sex with two women. One I was in a relationship with for about a year and we had a lot of communication issues and eventually stopped being intimate altogether before things fell apart. The other was my best friend since high school and it was very awkward and our friendship hasn't been the same since. In any case, I don't have a lot of experience and it's been probably about three years since I last had sex and I have a naturally low sex drive so that has been perfectly okay with me. Then about two months ago A came into my life. I've never been more crazy about someone than I am about her and she feels the same. Things are great right now and even though we've agreed not to try and put labels on where we are for the moment, I keep catching myself imagining all those future milestones with her by my side. The only problem is that she has a much higher libido than I do and she doesn't understand how I can not constantly want sex. We haven't had much direct contact as of yet, but there is lots of over the phone going on which I never really did before and I kinda suck at. I am very physically attracted to her but every time I think we might be about to do something I get freaked out tongue-tied, anxiety spikes etc. And if I have some deep-seated intimacy issues or just some weird mental block I can't get over. It feels like being a nervous awkward virgin again tbh and I hate it. The last thing I want is for her to think that I don't want her like that because I really do. It's just that she is a lot more upfront and less reserved than I am and it's kind of intimidating. I also have a lot of insecurities and body image issues. And I guess just the simple fact that someone like her could be so into someone like me is something I'm having a lot of trouble accepting and I think it's messing with my head. How do I get over something like that? Honestly wish that I could just wake up tomorrow and tell her to come over ASAP, let's go. But I just don't exude virile masculine confidence like that. And I'm worried that I'll just never be enough for her no matter how much I want to be or how much she says it's okay. I just want to give her what she wants but I don't even know where to start getting over my issues. Too long didn't read, new potential partner and I really click and are crazy attracted to each other. We want to start being intimate but apparently any sexually charged situations turn me into a 13 year old virgin and I don't know why. I don't want this to be the thing that gets in the way of something wonderful but don't know how to get over it. I just want to give you a bit of the female perspective here. I F23 was recently seeing a guy M22 and the first three times we tried to have sex he could not get hard. Like at all. He later told me that the reason was he liked me so much and found me so attractive that it gave him really bad performance anxiety. I honestly found it really sweet that he liked me enough to be nervous around me and did what I could to reassure him and make him feel comfortable and we never had that problem again. Just talk to her. If she's not understanding she's not the kind of girl you want in your life anyway. The only advice I have is to be upfront with her about these things. She will feel the effect so she may as well know the reasoning behind it. Being in the know gives her the chance to understand it's not her attractiveness or anything that could negatively impact her self-esteem, and then she can support you with yours. Fluff an update by the way, this story made me feel invested and I'm rooting for you 230. 
definitely seconding explaining as well as you have here. Don't give her time to get in her head trying to figure out if it's her. I would add that you're basically the same as my BF and me. He has a lower libido than I do and had only dated 3 people by 29. It can be an issue and I was frustrated with how much stuff I needed to spell out. I highly recommend going to our slash sex at women's perspectives and read up on men's suggestions. Thanks. I've tried explaining as well as I can but it's hard to explain an issue that I just recently realized I had and don't yet understand. I try to remind her that it's got nothing to do with her attractiveness or my feelings about her but I know that deep down she isn't sure if I'm being honest. From what she's told me, she's never met a guy who wasn't horny all the time and I know that some people think I'm abnormal. Also, just saw your edit. Thanks for the recommendation, I'll go check it out. Edited, attentiveness to attractiveness. Honestly, this was an issue my boyfriend, 22M, and I, 24F, had. He hadn't had a whole lot of experience and while he likes sex and being intimate it always made him nervous. He communicated these issues, and that's the best way to go about this. Let her know what you told us and reassure her that you are very attracted to her. For tips when you want to start being intimate and you're nervous about it, start slow. We didn't have penetrative sex for a while, and stuck with just foreplay and getting to know each other's bodies. Oh, and a lot of asking questions throughout. Just things like, how do you masturbate? Tar areas on the body you do and don't like being touched when we're intimate. Are you comfortable with X, etc. And if either of you are unsure, explore it a bit and be sure to check in with each other. Good luck up, wishing you a lot of luck with your new potential partner. Should I, 22F, interfere in my boyfriend's, 29M, toxic parenting style with his 8 year old boy? Hi Reddit, I'm currently struggling to determine whether or not I should interfere in my boyfriend's parenting style and the way he's raising his son, and how I would go about that. First I just wanna say that my boyfriend hasn't been anything but terrific towards me. Very understanding of some issues I had with my ex in the beginning of our relationship and is seriously one of the best men if not the best man I've ever met. He's kind, sweet and very empathetic and understanding. I had genuinely thought that I've found the perfect man. So that's why I was shocked to see the way he's raising his son. It's like he's not allowing him any room for emotion. He's constantly using outdated phrases with him like man up. You're a man and men don't cry for no reason suck it up the other day he was helping him with his homework he basically drove him nearly to tears and then told him not to cry, it was horrifying to watch. When I told him to stop, he stopped and said he's sorry and that he might have taken it too far but he's doing it for his own good. Now I didn't know if it was my place to tell him how to raise his son, especially since we've only been dating for 7 months. But I've become really attached to his son and I couldn't just watch him be bullied by his dad like that. So I talked to him about it and he seemingly agreed with me and even told me that he felt so bad about that, and that he's turning into his own father without realizing it. Felt optimistic after that conversation and thought it would help. Fast forward a few weeks and we're back at square one same kind of situation again, not letting his son cry, and constantly putting a lot of pressure on him even though he's just an 8 year old. I warned him about it again but this time he defended his actions and said that's the way I was raised and I want him to be like me. I'm very worried about him but I don't know what to do the whole situation is very weird, my boyfriend has never really shown any signs of toxic masculinity in fact all of his opinions are very feminine. That's why it's shocking to me to see him raise his son in such an old-fashioned outdated way. Too long didn't read, my boyfriend is really strict towards his son and refuses to allow him to show any kind of emotions. I'm not sure if it's my place to interfere in the way he raises his son but I'm also not sure if I can just let this go. Realistically, he would need professional help to make such drastic changes in his worldview and behavior. I really hope he seeks help because otherwise his son is absolutely going to continue to suffer. Even if he does change, he's already spent the most formative years of his son's life indoctrinating him with toxic masculinity. Actions speak louder than words. This guy is nearing 30 with a 22-year-old GF and 8-year-old son who he treats like shit in the name of being a man. This guy is not a prize.
if that is honestly how he's raising his child, he is not this great man you think he is. He does not actually believe in those feminist views you mention. If he did, he would be raising his son with a lot more compassion and empathy. Just because he was raised like shit does not mean he should raise his son like that. If he's toxic like that to his child, I'd seriously doubt he would remain treating you well the longer you are together. Additionally, say you stay together and have a child together. Do you really want to be constantly struggling with him about how he is parenting? You should absolutely say something. You can't make him change but you can make it abundantly clear you will not stand to be in a relationship with someone who parents as he does. I warned him about it again but this time he defended his actions and said that's the way I was raised and I want him to be like me. Your son is not you. And if you sincerely want him to turn into the cruel parent I'm seeing right now, you and I have a big incompatibility to discuss. Sometimes the men who are the loudest about their feminist beliefs are the least likely to actually practice them at home. You're starting to see evidence that this was a front to rope you in but he can't hide his real feelings or beliefs when he's interacting with his son. He said what he needed to say to impress you, but now you're getting the truth. And you should pay close attention, because I guarantee his nasty side will not stay roped off in his parenting. My boyfriend is really strict towards his son and refuses to allow him to show any kind of emotions. That's his personality. You just haven't had it used towards you, yet. If you agree with his insensitive attitude then keep quiet. If you think you saying anything will change him, you can try. But he's being cruel to an 8 year old and do you want to be with a cruel person? All of his opinions are very feminist. That's lip service. Actions speak louder than his opinions. Parenting is something you can't really compromise on. So, unless you are not interested in a long-term relationship, you might want to talk with him about it. If your parenting styles don't line up and there is no wiggle room in his view nor yours, then it might be better to break up. Right now, it may not be your place to interfere but if this is a long-term relationship for you then you will be stepmom to this kid. My husband's 30 meters driving is dangerous. I am posting here today out of sheer desperation. I am at my wit's end with my husband's driving and don't know what to do. Over the years, he has always been a dangerous, reckless driver. He scares me frequently, but it's his driving when he is alone that has me worried. He has gotten six speeding tickets in the past two years, all to and from work, 50 meters one-way trip, and a ticket for an unsafe lane change. His license is suspended and he has an occupational license for now. As you can imagine, this has cost us a fortune, both in tickets and insurance. He is super aggressive on the road, and feels other drivers are the problem. We use a GPS family locator app which includes driver insights and he tops out at over 100 plus mile per hour 9 tenths times when he is behind the wheel alone. I'm thankful he isn't as crazy of a driver with myself or our child in the car. Regardless, feel it's unacceptable. Not only is he completely disregarding the added expenses this is creating, I am genuinely scared he is going to eventually die in a fiery car crash. It feels like he has no disregard for his life. We have a three years old and another on the way and the reality of the situation is starting to set in. I know I can easily not get in the vehicle with him, but how can I influence him to slow down when driving alone? I love this man and have spent seven years building a life together, but it feels as if his driving habits have only gotten worse with age. He is far from perfect, has a temper, and hard to talk to about stuff like this, without him resorting to you and my mom, stop nagging me. He's a good dad and I don't particularly want to leave, but without change feel it's inevitable. I want him to understand that his decisions impact our entire family, not just him. I also feel it's unfair that I constantly have to worry if today is the day he didn't make it to work safely. Is it possible to get this message across or is this a losing battle too long didn't read, husband drives way too fast, costs us a fortune, but refuses to slow down, wife scared for his life, how can I influence change?